February 4th through the 11th is Church Milton's 10th annual retreat at sea, led by the same two guys who bring you Rome Dispatch. Join us with the latest from the Eternal City, Church Milton's Rome correspondent, Dr. Jules Gomez. Jules, there won't be a Rome Dispatch put out for the entire week of February 4th through the 11th because both of us will be giving conferences on Church Milton's 10th annual Retreat at Sea. Are you looking forward to a change of scenery and a change of pace while still working to sanctify souls? I'm so looking forward to uh, this, uh, Brad. Uh, spending time with uh, people who truly love the Lord Jesus Christ, who truly love the church, uh, with people who are willing to uh, give their time and money and come to this retreat on sea to be nourished by the sacraments and strengthened by the Word of God, to be, uh, you know, given that vision that we all need for fighting this battle as the church militant. You know, many people, uh, Jules, really don't know your background and how really it makes you uniquely qualified to give retreats. Can you share with our viewers a bit of your background? Well, uh, Brad, before I came to Rome uh, for over 25 years uh, as an Anglican priest who was very closely associated with uh, teaching in Catholic seminaries, uh, Catholic universities, uh, I led uh, retreats for youths, uh, for, youth, for adults, uh, clergy conferences, sometimes as large as 400 entire diocesan conferences. I've led retreats and uh, taught at these conferences in the United States, in India, in England, in Israel, and uh, uh, this is something that uh, you know, the Lord, to his credit and for his glory, used uh, you know, me mightily in this sort of ministry. And uh, it, it's something that uh, it has brought me, you know, I've been privileged to do, humble to do, and uh, has brought me a great deal of uh, vocational satisfaction, if I can use that term. Yeah, and on, on my own part, the, uh, I was with the Franciscans uh, 30 years ago, uh, and so for, for 22 years giving conferences, talks on scripture, uh, adult catechism, giving talks on uh, Franciscan spirituality and all this, just uh, on a regular basis for many, many years, went to the seminary and got two postgraduate degrees in theology and everything. So I'm very at home uh, talking with people, and, and I plan on doing that too outside of the conferences, uh, uh, chumming up with all the good people out there, learning from them and uh, sharing uh, experiences, what's going on in the church on a heart-to-heart -heart basis there. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it as well. Uh, Jules, why are you uh, really able to give the conferences, the specific conferences that you're going to be giving and can you give people a little bit of glimpse into those particular talks? Well, I, I spent uh, almost 10 years of my life in postgraduate uh, research and study, uh, four years doing a Bachelor of Divinity, two years a research Master's of Theology, specializing in the Old Testament, and then uh, three and a half years at the University of Cambridge, finishing my doctorate there. Interestingly, during all these years, I never, uh, you know, closeted myself as uh, in, in a cocoon, as an academic, but always saw uh, theology and the study of scriptures as a means to an end, uh, uh, not writing some book that will end up in, you know, uh, another scholar's library, though that is a very valuable ministry, uh, but wanting to reach the person in the pew with you know, the scriptures with the word of God. Uh, and uh, th 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 that is something that uh, is, you know, what I'm going to uh, put into practice for this particular uh, retreat that we have, uh, going deep into the scriptures and bringing our great treasure, as Psalm 119 says, you know, open my eyes, Lord, that I may see wonderful things in thy holy scriptures, in thy law and uh, bringing this out so that we can rejoice uh, as people who have found great spoil, great treasure, great bounty from God in His Holy Word. Yeah, and for myself as a Franciscan, uh, understanding joyful suffering, uh, the Holy Spirit is, of course, uh, part of the theme for the Retreat at Sea, and I'll be um, 
blending together the Holy Spirit and suffering, the Holy Spirit and, and evil in the world, uh, the Holy Spirit really uh, uh, how that transforming us continually. Uh, so information I understand is one thing, but information must lead to transformation. And that's what we're hoping to do here is uh, people coming and when they go away, they're a little bit different when they go away and that, that difference uh, uh, sticks with them. Let's hear uh, really from some folks who've attended past retreat at Seas and, and hear what they had to say, what it really did for them. Holy Trinity is at work full time here. This is our fifth time. I wouldn't have dreamt of what I learned here. My batteries have been recharged and my faith has been deepened. You take it back home with you and spread it. Broaden your horizons and meet a lot more people. It is the best place to find authentic, traditional Catholic crowd. I love Retreat at Sea, and I will do it again. That's well, wonderful. Jules, what are you hoping people will come away from, uh, you know, take, a, take home with them after this Retreat at Sea uh, that may help them, you know, navigate as a Catholic today? Uh, Brad, you talked about uh, our theme, uh, the, on the, which is the Holy Spirit, and uh, the joy, the you know, exhilaration you see on the faces of these people who uh, attended our previous retreat. It's very clear that they experienced the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has ministered to them. And uh, uh, I'm talking about, you know, taking people through the Old Testament, what the Old Testament has to say about the Holy Spirit. Uh, hopefully we will then zero in on a particular book that's pregnant with teaching on the Holy Spirit. I'm thinking of the book of Ezekiel at the moment. We then will look at the New Testament, uh, go through the ministry, the person and the work of the Holy Spirit, the blessed, you know, the third person of the Holy, Blessed and Un divided trinity and then we zero in again in the new testament on a book uh, like uh, the acts of the apostle which some scholars call the acts of the holy spirit but the holy spirit revolutionized the lives of people who gave themselves to him and i'm really looking forward to the holy spirit acting in great power and might and glory and revolutionizing all of us who are on that retreat turning our lives upside down, uh, bringing something new out of us, so that when we go out, we can continue to cultivate in a greater measure uh, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, as Paul says in Galatians 5.22. So, you know, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in us the fire of your love. And as this great Psalm 104 says, send forth your spirit and they shall be created and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Renewal is what I'm looking for. Well, Jules, the retreat hasn't started yet, so you want to just uh, keep that fire simmering until you get there, okay? Uh, yeah, for myself, you know, I, I focus on, you know, no pain, no gain, but really in Catholic terms, it's no cross, no crown. And the Holy Spirit, how he doesn't necessarily steer us away from crosses, but it helps us to put down our own self-imposed crosses so that we can carry the cross of Christ, carry it joyfully, and carry it fruitfully uh, so that we will uh, be... Uh, more Christ-like in this lifetime and, and with him more closely for all eternity. So join us for the 10th annual Retreat at Sea. For more information, click on the link in the description below. And Jules, looking forward to visiting with you and our fellow Catholics who will be attending. Same here, Brad. Until then. Thanks again for watching today's episode of Rome Dispatch. This show is brought to you by donors like Real Estate for Life. If you're looking to buy or sell a home and want to support our mission, visit realestateforlife.org. Again, that's realestateforlife.org. Be sure to tell them Church Militant sent you. God bless.